Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, everybody. Good evening and welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Now, last week when Barry Lake was here from Las Vegas, Nevada, he won the fastest finger round and I heard this loud screaming backstage. Come to find out it was Barry's daughter, talk show host, Ricky Lake. But it was actually Barry's other daughter, Jen, who convinced him to try out for the show. And, uh, and you did and you're here and I guess that's the story, huh? Jen made you come. Well, she didn't make me come, but she wanted to try out. Uh -huh. She said, Dad, come on along and be my my accompaniment and wait online with me and as long as I was here she said take the test and I managed to pass it and she didn't <laughs> <laughs> but she's getting a finder's fee she's getting, yeah, 10%. getting a little piece of the action yes. eh? well good well you must be very proud of your daughters and and Ricky's uh, been a talk show host now for I don't know how many years and doing nine a great years job. now nine years now yes. now did you know when she was growing up that she would become a, a talk show host we knew she'd be in show business mm -hmm. but I thought she'd be a singer so you're here with uh, your lovely wife. Nice to see you again. Thank you. So how do you feel? I feel pretty good. Yeah. You're, you're back here in uh, New York, which is where you were born and raised? Yes. Yeah. Where? In the Bronx, right? Bronx, yes. Where? I'm a Bronx guy. I was Wallace Avenue, Palm Wallace Parkway. Kruger Avenue and Bronxdale Road. Oh, my goodness. Please, right around the corner. <laughs> That's not going to help you. No. <laughs> hey, if you want to play along, click on to the Enhanced TV on ABC.com right now. You'll have a good time. Barry has won $1,000. He's just 10 questions away from winning $1 million. You have all three of your lifelines left, Barry. 50-50, ask the audience, and you can phone a friend. So, Barry, if you're ready, are you ready? Yes, yeah, I you're am. ready. Audience, are you ready? You're all ready. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire right now. Okay, Barry Lake. Going for $2,000, Barry, and here it is. By definition, patent leather has what kind of surface? Glossy, dull, red, rubber. That would be A, glossy, final answer. Got $2,000. Okay, 4000 Which of the following cookies are similar in appearance and taste to Oreos? Vienna Fingers, Nilla Wafers, Lorna Dune, Hydrox. That would be D, Hydrox. Final answer. You remember that from the old days, and you're right for four thousand dollars. He's up to eight thousand. In July two thousand and one, what city was chosen to host the two thousand and eight Summer Olympics? Tokyo, Beijing, Singapore, Bangkok. Pretty sure, but not a hundred percent. I'm going to phone a friend. Really? Yes. All righty. Who do you want to call? My daughter Jennifer. Oh, the one who, yeah, sure, okay. Got me here. Let's get Jen on the line, AT&T. Hello? Hello, Jen. Yes. Hi, Regis Philbin calling from The Millionaire Show. How are you? I'm here with your dad. Of course, How's he, he doing? He just, he's doing fine. He's going for $8,000 right now. Told us the story about how you came down, wanted him to accompany you, and he wound up getting on the show. Yep. Yeah. But all right, so you're in for a piece of it, though, and uh, here's a chance to help out. So, Barry, you got 30 seconds, and they start right now. Jen, what city was chosen to host the 2008 Summer Olympics? Tokyo, Beijing, Singapore, Bangkok. It was just decided in July of 2001. I believe it's Beijing. Okay, how sure are you? Um... I would say I'm 80% sure. Yeah, that was my choice also. Okay. Okay, thanks, Jen. Love Good you. Good luck, Dad. I love you. Love you, too. Bye-bye. I noticed you didn't call Ricky. <laughs> oh. R Ricky has other talents. Okay. <laughs> she said Beijing. What do you think? Yeah, I'll go with Beijing. That was my first choice. Yeah. My final answer. Final Beijing. answer is Beijing. It's the right answer for $8,000.
audience tonight we have a couple of the hosts from the millionaire attraction out at Disney's California Adventure Elise and David they're here to sit in and learn from the master how are you guys indeed we're doing great how Good. are you just trying to keep up it's a big attraction I've seen the one in Florida I haven't seen the one in California but I'm going out there soon we can't wait can't all wait. right good luck to you guys thank you, thank you. all right Barry Barry now, now lives in Las Vegas you're a pharmacist up yes, there right good all right, look, let's do a little gambling right here, okay? You got two lifelines left going to 16,000. Seven more questions, Barry. You'll be a millionaire right here. Let's play. Uh, 16,000. On TV Saturday Night Live, Fritz Catan's Mr. Peepins is half man and half what? Monkey, parrot, fish, dog. I'm going to use a lifeline. Uh, I'll ask the audience. All right, why don't we check in with the audience? We need some help from Barry. If you're ready, on your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Well, big vote for the monkey. 76%. I would have been wrong. <laughs> uh, I'll go with the audience and say monkey, final answer. They're right for $16,000. Still has one lifeline going for 32,000. What is the name of the standard calendar currently used in the United States? Roman, Julian, Gregorian, Augustan. I'll go with B, Julian, final, final answer. No, darn it, it was Gregorian. Oh, Barry. We you leave with $1,000? Nice meeting you, Barry. Good luck to you, okay? Watch this one. Too bad, huh? I was really pulling for my buddy from the Bronx. Anyway, Barry goes back to Las Vegas with $1,000. And now it's time to meet 10 new high rollers vying for that hot seat. And they are... <laughs> Wendy Landis, St. Louis, Missouri. Michael McHugh, Studio City, California. Archie Harris, Washington, D.C. Marv Denham, Baysville, Kentucky. Kathleen Marcus, Sugarland, Texas. Adam Malaga, Tucson, Arizona. Jack Daniels, Arcadia, Indiana. Jane Kim. New York City, Nancy Miller, Elizabeth City, North Carolina, and Marty Aiken, Atlanta, Georgia. All right, good to see everybody here. All right, it's time to roll the dice, so here's tonight's first fastest finger question. Here it comes. Put these movies in order of their first theatrical release, starting with the earliest. Poltergeist, Beetlejuice, Scary Movie 2, The Sixth Sense. Okay, time's up. Let's see the answer now. In the correct order, starting with the earliest film, and it was Poltergeist, and then Beetlejuice, and then The Sixth Sense, and finally, Scary Movie 2. Let's see you got it right now. In the fastest time, the winner is Archie Uh, Archie Harris from Washington, uh, D.C. He is a man of many talents and uh, has all kinds of uh, different jobs. He, uh, well, what did you tell us uh, about uh, your life? Well, I'm an aspiring actor who pays the bills by being a lawyer. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm also a, a martial arts instructor and a masseur and a personal trainer. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Well, you've got a lot on your plate there. Trying to. Trying Good for to. you. Now, you've acted in, in uh, at least one movie that I know about. Yes, I was in The Replacements that came out last, uh, last year with Keanu Reeves and Orlando Jones, who was on the show a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, football film. Exactly. Yeah. 
I would imagine you do a little acting in the courtroom, too. Well, you know, presentation makes a difference. Absolutely, so, yeah, yeah. I'm having a little fun with it. And uh, who, who would you bring along with you today, your parents? I brought my mother and my father here. That's Archie and uh, your mom's name is Sue. Nice to have you. Mm -hmm. You know the rules, you know about the lifelines, so let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with okay. Archie Harris. <laughs> $100. We always start with that one, and here it is. A common saying about gift giving is it's the what that counts. Word, thought, amount, return receipt. <laughs> thought, final answer. Got it for 100 Archie going for $200 right now. The person is most likely to clip coupons to do what? Save money, get directions, build a fire, Pay off the national debt. I'll say save money. Final answer. Got that one, too. <laughs> He's going for $300. Information given to a reporter that is not to be made public is said to be what? Through the roof. Off the record. Out of sorts. Tomorrow on Morning. <laughs> uh, off the record. Final answer. Yeah, $300. Here it comes, Archie, for 500. Which of these animals has a traditional dive named after it? Shark, rabbit, swan, gazelle. Swan, final answer. Yes, it's the swan. Archie, up to $1,000. Which of these crops grows in groves? Wheat, oranges, Grapes, tomatoes. Oranges, final answer. You got that one right for $1,000. All right, we're going to take a break. When we get back, Archie goes to Harris from Washington, D.C. He is a part-time uh, corporate attorney, part-time actor, and a lot of other things to boot. You look like a football player. Did you oh, play any football? Actually, I did. I was uh, drafted after my first year of law school by the Chicago Bears and played a little bit with the Broncos as well. No kidding. Good mm -hmm. for you. You played in the line? Oh, uh, yeah. Offensive tackle. What Hang are on. your stats, anyway? You're... Uh, about 6'6". Six, six. Right now, about 3'30". Uh-huh. Yes. Big guy. Yeah. Big now, I'm feeling a little small right now. I'm, <laughs> I'm working. I will catch up with you. And you're a martial arts expert as well. Well, not, I'm trying to. I'm trying. Just got my black belt in Taekwondo and uh, working on my black belt in Judo. You see, a lot of guys take martial arts to defend themselves, but one look at you, the other guy would back away, you know. Well, so you've got to be sure. Sometimes. Who's going to mess with Archie, right? Want to be, want to be sure. You feeling okay? Feeling pretty good. Good. All right. So you got your three lifelines. We're going for 2,000. Let's go all the way, Archie. Let's play. Here we go. <laughs> For $2,000, the Italian word ciao means which of the following? Faster, eat, spicy, goodbye. <sighs> Let's see. Well, I'm thinking it's goodbye. Final answer. And you're right for $2,000. thousand. Employees of Foot Locker shoe stores wear outfits that resemble what kind of uniform? Hockey, baseball, referee, cheerleader. Well, if I got this one wrong, my father would kill me because he's been a referee for 40 years. So I'm going to say C, final answer. And you're right before Grant. <laughs> and he's up to $8,000 now. Gemini, Nitro, Lace, and Zap were all regular cast members of what TV series? Melrose Place, Star Trek Voyager, In Living Color, American Gladiators. Well, they never accepted my application, but I think it's American Gladiators. <laughs> Deep final answer. You're right, Archie. $8,000. Sixteen grand. Here it is. In the human body, serum is a liquid obtained from what? Blood, bone, muscle, fat. 
Just think about it for a second. Right. Serum is a liquid obtained from what? I mean, my first inclination is blood. It's not from fat. What about muscle? It's not from muscle. Bone? I'm gonna say blood, final answer. And you're right, the 16. All right, Archie, we're going for the big $32,000 question. Check it out. An apse and a transept are architectural features most commonly found where? Bridge, in a factory, a church, an opera house. Apse and a transept. Well, I've heard of apses in churches. Never heard of a transept before. <sighs> you know, I told myself I wasn't gonna like guess. Well, you say you've heard of apps. I've heard of apps. In in a church. In a church. Save the audience for a uh, popular culture question. I'm going to say church, final answer. Yes, for 32. Washington, D.C., 6'6", 330 pounds, bench presses 550 pounds, a big guy. But did you know that he also, also plays the French horn, which is very sweet, I think, yes. Yes. And actually played in a symphony orchestra. Yes, sir. I've been playing French horn since the fourth grade, and uh, just it's a beautiful instrument. I love the tone, and I've just had a lot of fun with it. Good for you. <laughs> Not only that, but he dances once in a while, <laughs> and has danced at the Kennedy Center doing a, a ballet. No, it was an opera. Oh, an opera. It was an opera, and I wasn't dancing. What's was, the difference? I was an executioner. I was cutting off people's heads. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you wore like a... Uh, they told me a leather bikini. Yeah, the, uh, the uh, costume designer, he had this thing, and we wore this leather bikini and a little leather strap and a little strap around my head, so. You didn't take that home with you, did you? Actually, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Next Halloween. Uh -huh. All right. How'd you like to have that, uh, knocking for a little candy on your front door? <laughs> And you said your dad was a referee for 40 years, He's huh? still doing it, uh, basketball all year long. Basketball? Yes. Huh? Is that college or high school? Or college, both? high school. Oh, yeah. Well, that's terrific. That's a lot of fun. It is. Keep, keeps in good shape, too. Yes, it does. Those oh, referees man. do a lot of running. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so here's where you stand. You're in great shape. Here. You've got three lifelines. You're going for 64,000. You're five away from a million. Let's go for it. Let's play. <laughs> $64,000. In the 1993 movie, Groundhog Day, what song plays on the clock radio every morning? Danke Shane, I Got You Babe, Feelings, You Light Up My Life. You remember this movie, don't you? I remember the movie. It's a favorite movie of mine, and I'm like listening, trying to listen to the radio in my head. I don't think it was You Light Up My Life. I don't think it was Feelings. And Don Cachane feels good, but I got you, babe, so it does as well. I'm going to ask the audience. All right. Yes. Why do we do that? Archie needs some help, audience. If you're ready, on your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Woo! 
That's a big one. 80% say I got you, babe. That's the feeling I had. I'm going to go with that final answer. Final answer, I got you, babe. The right answer. 64,000. Okay, Archie. Everybody's bullet for you. Four questions away from a million and still two lifelines. And here it is for $125,000. In what Shakespeare play does a sovereign exclaim, a horse, a horse? My kingdom for a horse. Is it in As You Like It? Henry V, Richard III, Hamlet. Well, I performed as Lord Lovell in the first murder in Richard III last fall, so I'm going to say C, final answer. He's right for 125,000. Whoa! Didn't know you were a Shakespearean actor, too. <laughs> Is there anything you haven't done? Uh, one a Make million. Making it <laughs> That's coming up next. What are you going to do with this money? Uh, well, I, I told myself if, if I won enough money, my treat to myself would be a portable treadmill that can hold 350 pounds. <laughs> it won't take up my whole living room. Okay. And I found one of those, so that's, that's my that's price your treat, for myself. Huh? All right, here it is. Serious now. You've got two lifelines and just three questions, okay? We're going for a quarter million, 250,000 right now. In the annual Isan Festival in Thailand, men stage fights between which of these? Model boats, robots, puppets, kites. I don't think it's robots, because that's a fairly new fighting show, I believe. Uh, I don't know how you can fight with model boats unless they're radio control, so it couldn't be too old a, uh, too old a festival if it's model boats. Puppets. There's no competition in that. That's just... Uh, I'm gonna do the 50-50 on that one. All right, you want this to narrow it down? Computer, take away two of those wrong ones, please. Well, you kind of thought of between puppets and kites. Fifty <laughs> yeah. percent chance, and of course you can always phone somebody. Maybe you have an expert on Asia in your lineup there. Let's let's phone a friend. I want to call my friend Carl. What does Carl do? Carl is an engineer. Engineer? Yes. All right, let's get Carl on the line, AT&T. Hello? Hello, Carl. Yes? Hi, Regis Philbin calling from The Millionaire Show. Hello, Regis. How are you? Good. I got Archie here. Excellent. Yeah. How's it going, we, Carl? We just did a little arm wrestling. I took I took him down. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, Carl. Believe, Regis. <laughs> now, listen. He's going for a quarter million dollars here. Excellent. And so we're looking to you for a little help, okay? Okay. All right, Archie, you got 30 seconds, and they start now. Carl, in the annual Isan Festival in Thailand, men stage fights between which of these? Puppets or kites? C is puppets, D is kites. The Isan Festival, I-S-A-N, in Thailand. Hmm. I would go with, reread real quickly. Nine seconds. Nine seconds? Come on. I would go with the puppets. I would go with... Carl. <laughs> and you didn't tell me how much you were sure. Uh... I think you were leaning to kites before, right? I was. Carl likes puppets. You can always walk with 125,000, because if you get it wrong, so you're going to lose 93.
He acted, he played football, was on the stage at Letter, and now a big winner on Millionaire. All right, contestants, you've got very big shoes to fill here. Here's the next fastest finger question. Put the following magazines in the order they were first published, starting with the earliest. 17, Cosmo Girl, Good Housekeeping, In Style. Okay, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest magazine, and it was Good Housekeeping, and then 17, In Style, and Cosmo Girl. That's the right order. Who got it in the fastest time? Just three of them. Wendy Landry! Hey, Wendy, good for you! Wendy Landry, a million dollars. When we come back. So it's Wendy Landis from St. Louis, Missouri. She's a uh, law student at Washington University there in St. Louis and probably has a couple of jobs to get you through school. And maybe this is going to help you uh, clear off all your debts, huh? That would be nice, yes, yeah. definitely. <laughs> what kind of part-time jobs do you have? I teach the LSAT and the ACT, and I do a court filing job every afternoon. Oh, good for you. And you're accompanied by a friend of yours, Krista. Krista, you go to law school with her? Yes, I do. Good. So we have two law students here. All right, so you know the rules. You know about the lifelines. Yes. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Here we go, Wendy. $100. A person who talks excessively is said to be a what? Thundermouth? Electric mouth? Motor mouth? Very bad mind. Well, this is me. I'm going to say C motor mouth, final answer. And you're right for $100. $200, Wendy. Take a look. At a restaurant, a valet usually offers what service? Takes reservations, parks cars, cleans the floor, gives much needed love. I'm going to go with B parks cars, final answer. You're right for $200. Up to $300. A sentimental look at the past is said to be a trip down where? Dream Street? Youth Boulevard? Memory Lane? Nightmare Alley? I'm going to go with C, Memory Lane, final answer. That's the trip you want to take for $300. She's up to $500. An RSVP on a party invitation means that guests should do what? Bring a gift? Dress formally, invite friends, respond. D, respond, final answer. Got it, for 500. <laughs> Here it comes, Wendy, for $1,000. What dance name is also a word meaning a state of neglect or oblivion? Limbo, tango, hora, waltz. A state of neglect Anything jump out at you? Limbo did, but you know, I'm not positive. Um, and I don't know what a horror is. Um, when you're in limbo, you're in between two things. I don't know if that's a state of neglect or not. Um, I'm not going out with just 500. Let's go with 50-50. 50 50, is that what you want to ask? You sure? Yes. Computer, can you narrow it down by two, please? Oh, oh no! <laughs> this is awful. Oh, dude, this sucks. <laughs> Did you just call me a bad name? I called you a dude! <laughs> you call your bad name, I promise. Now, a state of neglect or oblivion. Be very nervous. <laughs> I'm making myself very nervous. We're gonna ask the audience. Wanna ask the audience? All the right, chair. audience will come through. I'm sure. Wendy needs your help, audience. If you're ready, on your keypads. Vote now.
You thought it was limbo, and 91% yeah, say it's limbo. What do you think now? Yeah. A sounds great, final answer. <laughs> and you're right for $1,000. All right, so you used two lifelines. Still have one left. Let's get going, okay? Okay. Here it is for 2000, Wendy. The popular children's toy, Big Wheel, has how many wheels? One, two, three, four. Three. Final answer. Got it for 2000. $4,000, Wendy. Needle nose is a common type of what tool? <laughs> My dad. Screwdriver, <laughs> wrench, hammer, pliers. D, pliers, final answer. Wendy on fire, $4,000. $8,000, coming up. Which of these businesses is most likely to sell Crullers? Dunkin' Donuts, Staples, Pottery Barn, Domino's Pizza. A, Dunkin' Donuts, final answer. Listen to this, $8,000. Only she had danced the horror just once. <laughs> 16,000 right now. What was the nationality of the famous naturalist Charles Darwin? Was he French, South African, German, English? Think of the name for a minute, Charles Darwin. Does it sound like a French name to you? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not real good with origins of names. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, you still have a, a phone a friend. Yeah, I do. Nothing's hit me. Um, yeah, let's call Dad. Want to call your father? Yes, please. What's his name? Dale. All right, fine. Let's get Dale on the line, AT&T. Hello. Hello, Dale. Yeah. Hi, Regis Philbin calling from a wants to be a millionaire. Glad to hear from you. How are you? Uh, suddenly very nervous. Well, yeah. We've got Wendy here. She's making me very nervous. Is she? But she's won $8,000. Okay. And she's going for 16 right now, and she's looking to you for a little help, okay? Yep. All right, Wendy, it's all yours. 30 seconds right now. Okay, Dad, what was the nationality of the famous naturalist Charles Darwin? What was French? the nationality of Charles Darwin? Yes, French, South African, German, or English? He was English. 15 seconds. He was still English. <laughs> You said English? I'm sorry. Remember, your daughter's deaf. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. English, sure? Yes. All right. Thanks, yep. Dad. Uh, knock him dead, kiddo. Love you. Love you, too. <laughs> I have a hearing problem, so I didn't even hear him say English. I'm sorry. Um, we'll go with D, English final answer. Daddy's right for $16,000. Wendy Landis from St. Louis, Missouri, goes to Washington University, goes to law school there, and uh, is up to, uh, well, you've won $16,000. Have yes. you ever won anything before? Uh, yes, I won $1,000 on a radio contest when hmm. I was uh, about 10. What was the question? It was, what is the phrase that pays? And my mom had badgered us um, pretty much every evening at the dinner table to make sure all three of us children knew the phrase that pays. Uh-huh. And what was it? I wake up with the morning zoo on WNCI 97.9, not too hard, not too light. Wow, and this happened 14 years ago and you still remember it. Mom was pretty good at badgering. Boy, I'll say. I wish she'd badger me on that limbo thing. Yeah, too bad about that limbo and That's horror okay. thing. But anyway, look, you're doing fine. You've won 16, let's make it to 32 and you'll, okay. you'll go home with at least that much money, all right? All the lifelines are gone, but let's play with Wendy Lenz. 32,000, Wendy. 
In the 2000 movie, What Women Want, Nick Marshall's therapist is played by what music diva? Cher, Bette Midler, Barbara Streisand, Aretha Franklin. See the movie? No. <laughs> no, haven't seen it. And it's always Holly Hunter with Mel Gibson in the ads. Not Holly Hunter, Helen Hunt. At least I could get the name of the lead actress right. Um, could always leave with 16,000. I could always leave with 16,000. But what's the fun in that? It's more fun than going home with 1,000. <laughs> That's true. Because I think if I win 1,000, there won't be any left after I'm done with New York. You're a wild one, aren't you? <laughs> you're we'll gonna say be, that. You're going to be some lawyer. <laughs> um... Well, what do you think? You want to take a guess? You didn't see the movie. It might be tough. I know I didn't see the movie. Who's in all of the previews? You know, 60,000 is more than I had when I got here. We're walking. Oh, you're walking. All I right. I have no clue. Well, of course. The answer is Ben Midler. 16,000. That's not bad, Wendy. Good luck to you, okay? All right. Good for Wendy. And I promise the 16,000 is a lot more fun. Absolutely. All right, it's the 11th hour around here, and here's the last fastest finger question of the night. With these number one Billboard singles in order of their first release, starting with the most recent. My heart will go on, foot loose. Don't go breaking my heart. Baby got back. Okay, time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the most recent song. And it was My Heart Will Go On. And then, Baby Got Back. And Footloose. And finally, Don't Go Breaking My Heart. That's the right order. Who got it right on the best this time? Just two. Yeah. Adam. Oh, Adam. Yes, Adam. Yeah. Let's go win a million. from Tucson, Arizona. Congratulations. Thank you. You were quite thrilled about getting in that hot seat, well, huh? Well, I'd heard stories that people actually, you know, they have to delete one answer to go back. Yeah. And I had to do it. I didn't think there was a chance in the world. No kidding. You deleted, went back, and got it right mm -hmm. the second time. Good for you. Usually that doesn't happen. You're right. Yeah. Anyway, you're all set. Let's get in as many as we can, okay? Let's do it. Here we go, Adam, for $100. You know the rules, the lifelines. Let's play. <laughs> $100. When two friends high-five, they slap what parts of their body together? Nose, hands, shoulders, epiglottis. I don't know exactly what the epiglottis is, but I'll go with hands. Final answer. And you're right for $100. $200 coming up. A favorite gathering place is said to be what kind of ground? Stomping ground? Breathing, shouting, sticky. I'll go with A. Final answer. Right, the $200. The old stopping ground. Here it is, Adam, for $300. What piece of equipment is most likely to have a carriage return? A vacuum cleaner? Blender? Typewriter? Maybe travel agency? I'm going to go with C. Final answer. And you're right for 300. It's your typewriter. Sure. Yeah. All right, Adam, that sounds me. We're out of time for the night.